This is Jeff. Uh, I know a couple things about a Model T, but not many. I'm Jared. I don't know anything about a Model T. <laughs> I paid to have this guy built. I dropped a wrench, which you're not supposed to do, into the transmission. Or so, adjusting transmission bands. Yes. So then we dropped it in there, and then we had to take the whole thing apart to get it out. And Jeff's going to try and explain how this thing works. So basically, this is the fundamentals of a modern automatic transmission, just shifted with your feet. This whole assembly here is the transmission. This Model T has a two-speed transmission, low and high, with reverse, and then your brakes are in here as well. To get those functions of the transmission, you stop these drums from rotating as to, to, make, to engage that function. So, well, when you push a pedal here, it's, it compresses a, 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 a band around one of these drums and, keep, and stops this drum while the engine is rotating. Under normal conditions, cruising down the road in high gear, all these components are spinning around. This portion here is your magneto. It has magnets and coils on it to produce energy for the spark to con continue to and have the engine running. This piece here is your flywheel. This is a ring gear for the starter when you want to start it because this car has electric start. Your planetary or low gear is, is in these planetaries here. When this whole mass is spinning around in high gear, you've got one-to-one -one drive. When you clamp this drum here, this is your low speed drum, when you clamp that with your feet and that band stops this drum, the torque then is forced to go through these gear sets and turn the shaft in the middle to give you a low speed drive and that's your first gear. This is exactly the same technology that you use in a modern day automatic transmission except that it's done by hydraulic fluid and solenoids shifted by the computer in a more, in a more modern car. So that's about it. These, these transmissions are extremely simple and the basis of what we have today. Yeah. Good job Jeff.